Hey guys, um, first of all, I want to apologize that I have not made videos in a really long time. Um, things have just been completely insane. Here, I've been working like crazy. I've missed like three doctor's appointments because I've been working too much and I just can't take off. So I just, I barely have time for anything, and I've been working a lot of nights, and that means I work most of the day, and then I work late until the night. It's like almost midnight now, I just got off work a little bit ago, and so I'm really tired, and I actually left work early too, I left work at 9 o'clock instead. But um, sorry, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but that was fun. I ended up getting pulled over and everything. Found out there's like a... There's some kind of tag pull light law or something on my car. Which means if I get pulled over, they're going to take my license, take my registration, and take my car. And I don't know why. Something to do with because of a headlight out that I had. And apparently the police officer that signed my paper didn't put into the computer system that he signed it and signed off that I got it fixed. So, because he didn't do his job, now it's fucking me over. So, I'm not too happy about that. <clears throat> wait till I find his name. <laughs> I don't remember his name, but wait till I find out. See, he's fucking with the wrong witch. <laughs> but, anyway. That's just some bitching I needed to do. Anyway, sorry. Um, First, I want to say, Happy Shadow Fest. Or Samhain, whichever you call it. Summer's End, whichever you call it, <laughs> so cute, <laughs> um, I'm actually really disappointed, I haven't even been able to do my Shadow Fest ceremony yet, because I wanted to do it at night, and I wanted it to be right, I don't want to be extremely tired to the point where I can't keep my eyes open, because then I'm not going to be able to give the kind of energy I want to do it, and so I was planning on doing it when the, um, when the moon shifted into Scorpio, I'm so sorry. So, um, that will be, it was the 7th last year, the 7th of November, so this year it'll be the 10th, because that is the traditional time of Samhain, <coughs> and also when the Pleiades, when they are more visible. So, that'll be the 10th, November 10th this year, so I'm planning on doing it then. And... I'm excited for that. <laughs> I just, I want to make sure I'm off work and everything. I haven't even looked. If I'm not off work, then I'm not going to do it then. I mean, I mean, I might. I don't know. There's just so much going on. It's been so crazy. And I know this is probably going to be a boring video. This is just going to be an update. But I just kind of wanted to talk and just tell you guys that I'm sorry I haven't been around in making videos. But I, just because I haven't been on camera doesn't mean I have not been growing and most of you know I am in a in a course in a class online for Ash Virtual Malo for the tradition to add to my Spudaka practice um <coughs> and I'm really excited about that um lesson one is over almost over and I haven't finished actual homework for it yet but I did the alignment and it's it's amazing I'm not going to share much about the class because there are other people in the group and, you know, privacy and, you know, it's a closed class. It's a closed group and it's very secretive in very ways, very many ways. So it's very interesting and it is awesome. Ash Bridge and Willow is amazing. Um, I would definitely check it out if I were you. By Raving Gramasi and Stephanie Gramasi, which if you've seen all my videos, you know how much I love Raving Gramasi and Stephanie Gramasi. So, I mean, it's it's a great group. Stephanie is so sweet. She's such a nice person. And Raven, he's so intriguing. Like, you cannot walk away from a conversation with this man without being like, yeah, like, you know, like, really, he really makes you think. And I really like that about him. But, um, I have my little alignment bag. I will show you guys that. <coughs> my little alignment bag. I keep it with me. Uh, it was only, you're only supposed to sleep with it for three nights, but I was having a hard time remembering my dreams, 
so I slept with it for five minutes, maybe six minutes, five minutes. And tonight I'm gonna leave it on my Laura and Lotte shrine right behind me, up there. See that right there? My finger is pointing right at. <laughs> and um, this is my spirit stone, my spirit pouch, my serpent cord, and my spirit stone. I use those for path working and these for connecting with the spirit to the dead and my ancestors and I've been keeping this with me a lot lately especially when I'm doing work with the ash birch and willow because I feel like it is all connected to the ancestral current of energy to the current of energy of the witches of the old whether they are of a blood and they are not of blood it doesn't matter they are all our ancestors in one way or another because we are all witches and we are all sisters and brothers. Our brothers and sisters of the past should be honored as much as our own blood is wine. In my opinion, I mean, you might not feel that way. I hope you do feel that way, but you may not. <clears throat> but that's just me. And so I take ancestral worship and honoring our ancestors and the witches of the old very I don't want to say seriously, because you can still joke around and have as much fun as you want, but it is something that I do on the daily. I'm always honoring them and speaking to them and trying to communicate and be on that level and be grounded with them. Because to me, that is a very big part of my practice. Um, connecting with ancestral energy always something I've been very guided to because I feel as though if I want to know where I'm going if I want to know who I am I need to know who I was and who where I came from and that and that doesn't just include my parents and my grandparents but I mean that talks about hundreds and hundreds of years ago to my very first ancestor you know what I mean it's just to me that's important all of them from every time era, I don't care if it was 50 million years ago, even though there probably there wasn't people on the planet 50 million years ago, you still, you know what I mean, like, magic was always there, and so, it's, you get what I'm saying, I'm sorry if I'm going to be rambling a little bit, if you can tell by looking at me, I am extremely tired, like, I'm surprised I'm not, like, falling asleep making this video, I'm so tired, but, I really wanted to get on and talk to you guys about some stuff because I do feel bad that I have not given my YouTube channel enough attention lately and I am sorry for that. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I moved my um, shadow fist altar around a little bit, like I changed some stuff on it. I wanted to show that, but I'm not trying to go all the way downstairs. Oh, I wanted to show you guys a picture. If you're friends with me on Facebook, then I should, oh, maybe I already made a video and I showed you this. I remember. Well, at least if you're friends with me on Facebook, you'll know. I found a picture of my great, great, great grandmother, Matilda Crow Lynn, a Native American, Crow Native American woman. And she is amazing. This picture, I don't know, you can see the picture frame. See my finger on it? <laughs> right there right there, <laughs> but, um, she is, oh my god, the picture is amazing, it is just has so much history, and it's just such a beautiful presence in this picture, like, it's amazing, and I'm so grateful and blessed to have found this, and I feel like, though, it was a sign from her, because I've looked in this box of pictures millions of times, like, I honestly couldn't even tell you many times I've looked in it. Well, all of a sudden, I just got the feeling one night to go, or one day, just to go double check, because it was getting close to Shadowfest, to look for a picture of my ancestors. Well, literally, five minutes into looking into the bin, I find a photo album, which has pictures of my grandfather in it, and a lot of my, a couple other of my family members that I don't know. Oh, sorry. 